Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Larry Levanka. Today, we will take a look at how to upload your proof of COVID-19 vaccination to our LaserFish system. I uh, just wanted to say thank you before we begin here to Nishika and Arush, who uh, created a wonderful system for us to uh, to have our uh, cards uploaded to. So thank you to them. Uh, so first, what you're going to do is go into your search bar and you're going to type in L. F. It's going to pop up on my screen here. Uh, you'll see lf.bergen.edu slash forms slash HS0003. You'll also find that in the reopening reports. So if you don't want to have to type that out. So from there, you're going to be redirected to this page. You're going to enter your username, not your email, just your username, uh, and then your password. So uh, we will then click sign in and you'll come up to the actual form. The form here uh, explains uh, some of the um, policy that we are um, still uh, in the process of uh, confirming with our uh, legal counsel and uh, working with bargaining units to make sure that um, this is all uh, uh, in accordance with uh, the needs of our community as a college, obviously, and also in the best interest of our faculty and staff. Um, so it goes through what type of vaccines are uh, acceptable and so on. Uh, these fields here will auto-populate based on your, um, your active directory. So by me putting in L. Levanka before, it knows who I am. Uh, I'll also put in my phone number here, uh, if I could remember it, right? and uh, your employee type. Now there's uh, different employee types based on who you are, full-time faculty, adjunct faculty, full-time staff, part-time staff, and student worker. Uh, I am full-time staff. And now we get to the definitions of uh, what you are actually going to be uploading. If you're fully vaccinated, that means that you've received both doses of a two-dose series or the first and only dose of a single-dose version. Um, if you're partially vaccinated, that means that you've only received the first dose in a two-dose series. And if you're unvaccinated, that means that you have not received any type of vaccination. So I am fully vaccinated, so I will upload my proof of vaccination. Uh, my card is here. I will then attest to the accuracy of this uh, document. I will type my name and sign it. And then I would click submit. You're done after that. But for the purpose of this how-to, I also want to take you through the partially vaccinated and unvaccinated. So um, let's say that you're only partially uh, vaccinated at this point. Um, you will then have to put in the date of your next vaccination, uh, your final dose and you will upload proof of your partial status. You will then receive uh, email notifications um, once you um, have uh, submitted that, reminding you to upload your final dose. Same thing as a fully vaccinated person, you'll hit submit. Now for unvaccinated, uh, this is where the weekly test component comes in and the requirement that uh, you must weekly test in order to um, uh, remain employed at the college, obviously, and um, uh, if you do not want to uh, become vaccinated. So what you'll do here is uh, you'll pick the date of your test, you will upload your test results, you will sign, and then submit. You will once again receive uh, email notifications reminding you that uh, you need to test weekly uh, and uh, will trigger uh, every five days to remind you that you need to uh, submit your test results. So that's really it. It's very simple. Uh, I did it myself yesterday. Uh, I submitted my form yesterday and um, I, I thought it was very simple and, and the president has done so as well. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, by all means, reach out to me, email me, call me. Uh, I've walked a few people through this process already. Um, I've uh, helped them upload their cards if, if they were having trouble. Please, uh, I'll do the same for you if you have that issue. But hopefully this how-to uh, served its purpose and uh, provided you with the necessary guidance that you needed in order to get this done. So we appreciate you participating in this process and hope that um, we all remain safe and healthy during this incredible time in our world. So please be well and take care.